Thank you for listening in from wherever you are right now. Put your lotion bottles down and listen to what I have to say, because it will be quite eventful. Anyway, why I stop watching porn. And no, this is not a TED Talk, but I can guarantee you this will be just as significant. Why I stop watching porn. And it's not only just about why I stop, but I will give you tips and strategies, the same tips and strategies I use that will help you because the, here's the reality. Many of you all are struggling with porn addiction, masturbation, and you want to stop and you just can't do it. You try every single thing that you can, but for some reason, you just can't do it. That's why I'm here. That's why you're listening in, because you want to stop and you can't. But here's the thing. Good news for you guys. I struggled with porn for over 17 years, and I'm, I'm going to give you a couple of strategies that I use to quit. So why did I stop first, though? Why did I stop? Well, number one, I, come, I came to see that I really had a problem. And the reason that I saw that I was a prop, I had a problem because I started to objectify the, the women that I were dating. Um, honestly, I started to try to get the women to do the same things that were doing in, in the porn videos. And when they didn't do those things, I would feel, you know, disappointed. I would feel like the, the, the woman didn't love me, things of that nature. And I, I come to see that that was a perverted way of thinking because porn had essentially desensitized me to what's real and what's not real. In other words, I became so comfortable with watching Bourne that, uh, you know, real life situations were uncomfortable, you know, t to me. So that's the reason why a lot of you all are struggling with porn because real life is uncomfortable to you. You, you don't want to be rejected. You don't want to be turned down. It's comfortable to you for you to tune into that pornography and get your fix, so to speak. So you have to ask yourself, are you using pornography as a result of your own comfort? Because you don't want to put yourself into uncomfortable situations. So the number one, re one, the, one of the reasons why I stopped watching porn is because I became um, uncomfortable with porn, if that makes sense. I became, I finally became uncomfortable with porn, and I was, and, and I decided that I was going to tackle life head on, and I wasn't going to let my uh, rejection uh, uh, dictate what I did in my everyday life, and I was going to understood that. People are going to tell me, no, I'm going to get turned down for dates. I'm going to get turned down for different things. My girlfriend or whatever who I'm dating at that time, they're going to tell me, no, whatever the case may be. And I have to understand that's their God-given right. But pornography desensitizes you to that, and you end up objectifying other human beings. And I could tell that that's what was happening. Now, part of that, if you want to call it a 1B, why I stopped watching porn, because the reality is when you're watching porn, you're watching the, the same sex as well, unintentionally, unintentionally. Here's the thing. I will watch certain porn videos and I'm looking, obviously I'm not a homosexual, but I'm just keeping it 100 with you. You, will, you would watch the porn for me looking as a straight man, looking at the woman but guess what you will see unintentionally, you will see this man's slong. And I got tired of looking at another man's slong. And I got tired of <laughs> I got tired of having to fight to see the woman. Like I'm sitting up here trying to look at the woman, and I'm sitting up here blocking out the man's slong. So say for example, this is the woman's this is just an example. This is just an example. Just say this is the woman's stuff. And this is the man slong, and I'm sitting up here trying to like block it out. Like, no, dude, I'm trying to see her booty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm trying to see the butt. I'm trying to see her breast. And it it, it became like a, a constant battle because because I was like, yo, like I don't want to see this man's butt. I don't want to see this man slong. Like, dude, like I'm turning away, 
every five seconds or so because I'm trying to see the woman. And I realize, you know what? I'm tired of it. <laughs> I want to see the woman naked. I don't want to see this slong in my face. And so that was another reason. <laughs> That's another reason why I stopped watching because I didn't I, I got tired of battling it. I got tired of, of that fight, you know, if you will. Another reason why I stopped watching pornography is because of I understood human trafficking. I understood uh, later on that a lot of those girls that are in the porn industry are victims of rape, they're victims of molestation. They're victim of human trafficking. They pimps put a lot of those girls out on no sets. And a lot of a lot of those girls have a lot of serious mental health issues, serious drug issues. And I know that by me looking at that, I was in in essence supporting their own degradation. I was in essence supporting their molestation. I was I was no better than the, the traffickers. If you will, because a lot of those girls are are seeking for love, looking for love in all the wrong places. Some of those people do what they got to do to survive, quote unquote. But a lot of them, like I, I've met a couple porn stars, you know what I mean? And they're normal women like anybody else. Some of them are really cool people, you know what I mean? But a lot of them are hurt. No, no, no girl comes out and says, you know what? I want to be a porn star. Nine times out of 10, a lot of those girls get involved in pornography because of they've been victims of abuse. And it becomes a control thing. Like you took something special away from me. So now by me getting into pornography, now by me being a prostitute, I have the ability to control my own narrative because that makes me feel in control. It makes me feel good about myself because what did not feel good is when that which was supposed to be special was taken away from me because I was unprotected. Maybe I was molested by an uncle. Maybe I was molested by a father figure. And and and, and so now I don't have any trust. So now I'm going to engage in pornography. So now my goal in life is to get men's, men to lust after me because them lusting after me gives me a sense of approval that I wish I would have gotten otherwise. These men lusting after me, want me, desire me, and me having the ability to say no to them makes me feel good about myself because for so many years, I had that taken away from me. For so many years, I felt like crap. For so many years, I felt worthless. I felt hopeless. And now, I'm in control. Now it makes me feel good to know that there are millions of men looking at me uh, uh, naked, looking at me get pounded by another man, and they're secretly wanting me, and they're not going to have me. Or if they do get me, they're going to pay money to get me. Wow. So that's why a lot of women become addicted to that industry in general because it becomes a way of acceptance. And a lot of you men get involved in it because you've been rejected. You feel in control too because here's the thing. Some of you guys feel like losers. You act like losers. You have low self-esteem. You have low self-worth. And you know that, hey, look, all I got to do is swipe this card and I got that woman looking at me through the screen and she looking at me through that screen. And at that moment, I go into my avatar mode. In other words, that guy that's pounding her, having sex with her on the other end of that video, that's not a guy having sex with her. That's me having sex with the woman of my dream. That's me having sex with a woman in general because the reality is I want to be on the other end of that screen because in real life, that's not happening. In real life, people treat me like a loser. In real life, I believe myself to be a loser. And because I think of myself as a loser, it's more comfortable. There goes that word comfort again. It's more comfortable, comfort, comfortable 
for me to look at pornography. It's more comfortable for me to look at it because at least in this world, at least in this world of my avatar is winning. My avatar is successful. My avatar is getting the women that he wants. My avatar is getting the sex he wants. My avatar is getting the companionship he wants. So guess what? I recline to the world of my avatar and I give up in to that desire because that is real to me. What's Because that fantasy is realer than reality and it's more comfortable and that's what I truly desire. The, the, I truly desire to be like my avatar. So I just engage all in into my avatar because he's doing exactly what I wish I would be doing in real life. Because the reality is in real life, I'm not, I'm not talking to women. In real life, I'm a loser and people look at me like a loser and I think I'm a loser. I have low self-esteem. I sit up and play video games 20 hours a day. I don't have any interactions with other human beings. I'm a very negative human being, negative person. I don't know how to even just say hello to a to opposite sex. I don't know how to build relationships with people. I have a very negative viewpoint about life, very just, just, just a negative person all overall, right? And because of that, I've made porn the norm in my life. That's why a lot of you guys are bound to pornography. That right there. That right there is why many of you are born. So for me, why I stopped watching pornography is because unconsciously I started to realize that I was becoming so much more comfortable with watching porn that when I would react, when I would interact with women in real life, I can't, I, I unconsciously, I, I carried a weird vibe around me. Because here's the reality of when you watch that filth so many times, and for the people that are not Christians, you're not going to get what I'm about to say, but the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers, right? Here's the situation. When you're watching porn, there are certain spirits that attach themselves to that stuff and certain energies, if you will, for those who are not Christians, but do believe in spirit, certain energies that attach themselves to that that those mediums, right? The medium of pornography. And when you're watching it, whatever you put in your eye gate into your spirit, it comes out of you. So if you're watching pornography all the time, right? Guess what's attaching itself to you? The, the spirits that are influenced in that pornography is around you. So now here you are, you, you meditated on that filth all day long. You meditated on that filth, right? That's the same way if I meditated on lyrics of a rap song all day long, it's going to come out of me, right? Because I've, I've thought on it. I've meditated on it, right? It's going to come out of my behavior, my personality, things of that nature. And so now women are looking at you like a weirdo. They don't know what's making them uncomfortable around you. And, and you're, you know, you, you, you seem like a nice person, seem like a nice guy for the women that are, are, are struggling with it. Seem like a nice girl. But you don't know why you can never have a man. You can never settle down. You, you know, guys only want you for sex and all this kind of different stuff like that. But then you don't check what you've been putting into your spirit. And because of that, you have, you, you, you created an aura around you. An aura. Some people in New Age, uh, they call it uh, energy or aura. So in other words, what ends up happening is you, because you keep watching pornography all the time, you have a weirdo perverted energy that's following you. And that weirdo perverted energy is keeping you from connecting to other individuals. See, here's the reality. The reality is you don't attract opposites. You attract who you are. 
I guarantee you when people say opposites attract, that's a lie. You attract who you are. Like, for example, for example, I've heard people say that good girls like bad guys. I've heard that many times. And I respectfully disagree. Because if you look in, in the lives of those quote unquote good girls, they're not really good. No, that bad guy is just the stimulus to bring out the slutty behavior that's already inside of that quote unquote nice girl. That quote unquote, let me give you guys a practical real life example. And I'm not glorifying this, but I'm, I just have to use this example. And I, and I promise I'm going to go back and I'm going to make my point. When I was about 22, 23 years old, I had this older guy come to me. And it was this girl, real, like, fine. She was bad, right? And he told me, he said, you see that girl over there? He said, she like you. She want to have sex with you. He said, I'm telling you. And I said to him, I said, bro, she don't want me like that. I said, this girl go to church. She, she saved. She, this, that girl not feeling me like that, right? And he said, trust me, I can tell by the way that she's looking at you that she want to give it to you. And y'all know what I'm talking about. She want to give you something. I'm just... Saying what he said, right? And I said, there's no way. He said, man, trust me. I guarantee if you go talk to her, she's going to give you some. So I just took him up on offer. And and I got to know the girl. And guess what? And, and, and the same day, the same day I had sex with this girl, the same day, this girl that I thought this was this good girl, the church girl, and blah, 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 blah. It's no way she's going to mess with me because I was in and out of the world, whatever. End up having sex with me. So what was the lesson that I learned? The lesson that I learned was, yes, she was a good girl, but it was something inside of her that connected to me that I was the stimulus to it to bring that behavior that was latent out of her. In other words, let me 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 give you a practical example that Jesus said it like this. He said, "The prince of the world has come, and he has found nothing in me." When he was at Gethsemane, he was talking about potentially being tempted, going to the cross. At first, he said, "You know, Father, take this cup away from me, if it be possible. Nevertheless, not my will, but I'm going to do what you want me to do, Father. Thou will be done." And then he said, you know what? And then he said, uh, you know, he, 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 Jesus was talking about there's nothing on the inside of me that the enemy can use to take me away from the will of the father. And so how does that relate to you guys? Some of you guys have things that are on the inside of you that just because you stop doing them or you see people, you think, well, just like the young girl, we think, well, just because she's not doing it, she must be a good girl. Yeah, she may be good as far as not doing it, but the reality is who she really is on the inside is really bubbling up. It just takes the right stimulus to bring that slutty nature out of her. So I was the right stimulus. I brought it out, which goes back to my point. Opposites don't attract. Like attracts like. She was already like that, but who she was just needed a stimulus to bring it out is what I'm trying to, basically what I'm trying to say. So what I, how that relates to porn addiction is this. A lot of you guys are attracting other people that are perverts, that are, that, 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 that don't value you in life because of what you've been putting inside of your spirit, man. You've been meditating on filthiness, on perversion, and now you're wondering why you can't have a normal, healthy relationship, get to know a normal, healthy uh, woman in a nice kind of way or whatever cool kind of way, cool, and you only be getting these thottish type of people and stuff like that. It's because of what you've been meditating on. It's because what you've been putting in your spirit. That's why. Don't you, excuse me. Don't you guys get that? Don't you guys get that? Don't you young ladies, don't you get that? Whatever you meditate on, you're going to get more of. 
period. If you meditate on future all the time, you're going to get future results, period. You're putting filth in your spirit. You can't say, well, God, why is this happening? Because you're putting filth in your spirit and you're going to attract the spirits that are engulfed in, in that filth to you. If I'm putting sex in my spirit, like if I'm, if I'm sitting up here listening, looking at porn all day long, all day long, guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be doing this with women all day long. I'm not, I'm not going to have a healthy relationship with women. I'm not going to be able to connect with the women <coughs> outside of wanting her naked, or outside of wanting to really get to know her, outside of wanting to build with her. Same way with you women. You listen to the filth all the time. You're not going to understand how to connect with a man without feeling like, oh my God, this guy's being nice to me. He must want some sex for me. Because there's a lot of women like that too. There's a lot of women that even as a guy, as soon as a guy is nice to them or cool to them or cordial to them, they automatically think the guy's trying to get them in the bed. Why? Because they've become so conditioned by filth and porn by the things of this world to the way they think that the only engagement that I can have with a man is something sexual. It has to be a sexual transaction. And if the sex, if, if I'm engaged with the opposite sex and there's no sexual in transaction, then something must be wrong. See, that's not a normal way of thinking. So that's why I stopped watching porn. I stopped watching porn because I wanted to have normal transactions with women or normal interactions with women. I wanted to get to a point that I truly please God. I wanted to get to a point that I truly got to love myself, know myself. I started to understand the reason that I was engaged in the first place because of rejection, because of acceptance, because of my fear of, uh, of real life. And I understood that avatar was just that. It was an avatar. It was an avatar. The avatar is not meant to be real. And see, some of you guys may laugh and joke and say, ha, 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 that's not real life. This is not real. But many of you laughing are losing your marriages right now. And when I say guys, I'm talking about women and men. You're losing your marriages right now. You have a hard time connecting with the opposite sex. So you would be wise to, to come down off the pride and to listen. And this is what helped me after struggling with over 17 years. I finally understood that you can have a normal, healthy relationship with a, a, a woman. And it doesn't have to have a sexual nature involved, man. You can just have a normal, healthy relationship and get to really know a woman and think she's cool. It don't have to be about sex. And I'm not saying you're not going to be sexually attracted to women. Yeah, because women, thank God for women, right? I'm not saying that. What I am saying is you don't have to be no weirdo. Some of you guys have a hard time connecting with people because you become weird. I'm going to just call, keep it 100. Keep it 100 to 10. You become weird because you watch so much porn that unfortunately and unconsciously you do weird things. You're too thirsty. You're too thirsty because you've been watching porn and you think that's the normal way that you're supposed to react. Man, let me tell you, man, and I, I'm not going to put this man out here, but when I was living in L.A., and everybody know who I'm talking about pretty much. They they probably will know when I say it. But when I, when I used to go to Hollywood, I used to see this one porn star all the time. And I'm not going to say he's not a cool, he may be a cool person in real life, but you know what? The dude had this weird energy about him. His whole energy and vibe was weird. This dude used to be on the train all the time. I'm not going to say what train he was on, but he was on the train. And he had this weirdo energy about him. And the reason that he had the weirdo energy, because he's sexually been with probably thousands of women. And you pick up all those auras, you pick up all those essences, essences of be a sexual union. And so now the dude walking around here looking weird and bizarre, like, you know, it's a spiritual thing, folks. So, man, that's why I stopped watching porn. I stopped watching porn because I started to realize that it was not God's best for me. 
That's not what God intended for us, man. God does not intend for you to be bound to pornography. He intends you to have life and have it more abundantly. He intends for you to have a good, sustainable marriage, a good relationship. He intends for you to be, for you women to be mentors to these young ladies, for you men to be mentors to these young men. He intends for us to build good, good families, good communities, good wholesome communities, good have good wholesome sex with your spouse. That's what God intended, man. Nobody, if nobody else tells you that, well, I'm telling you that because that's just God's will for your life. So that's why I stopped watching pornography. And, and I could tell you dozens of other reasons why too, but those are some of the reasons of why I stopped. And if you want more tips and strategies on exactly what I did and much more to, to help you overcome porn and masturbation, Go to www.pornaddictshelp.com. www.pornaddictshelp.com. There I will give you over five hours of tips and strategies that will show you everything that you can do. Everything that I did exactly after struggling with 17 years that will help you overcome porn addiction. And when I talk about porn, those same same strategies can uh, apply, can deal with sexual addiction as well, right? These are strategies directly from the Father, from the Holy Spirit that have helped me, and I know they will help you. They're on sale now for, I think it's 47 bucks right now, something like that. The seven-day Monday, seven, blah, 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 I'm stuttering, seven-day buddy back guarantee. So once again, go to www dot porn addicts help dot com i love you guys and i hope that helps comment section below make some comments like and subscribe and share the video thank you